This is a 17-year-old former pupil of Chabikuha Primary School in Kasese District. 2023 could have probably been her toughest year because she became pregnant in her final year in primary school. The teenager, whose identity we have opted to keep private, delivered a baby boy in August this year, two months before writing her primary living examinations. Gera. The delivery did not stop her from going to school as the national examinations drew nearer. She would rush home during break time and lunch breaks to breastfeed her baby. This was her new normal. When we did milk, the milk, they gave bus, and uh, we encouraged the girl to come to school. She has been in the class, and uh, she has done her PLO exams. Despite her challenges, she tells us that she wants to be a nurse. The Kasese District Inspector of Schools told NTV that several other learners there were either pregnant or breastfeeding during the primary living examinations. The number is big only that we can't establish it now, but to have directed the distributors, including the head teachers, to submit us the number of girls who are pregnant and they're breastfeeding to our office so that we establish the exact number of those who have sat while breastfeeding and those who have sat while pregnant. A 2021 United Nations Population Fund report revealed that Kasese is among the districts in the country with highest numbers of teenage pregnancies. Only Kampala and Wakiso have more numbers than Kasese. Kasese has always been either the third or the second in teenage pregnancy. So every parent, every concerned citizen living in Kasese, whether educated, whether poor, whether rich, needs to be concerned and ensure that we work together to reverse the trend.